and we'll attack top 10. Our brand new segment where we list off the top 10 best of the best in the MMO world. I'm Reyna and he's Kurt. Today we have for you the top 10 free MMO FPS games. MMO FPS, Kurt, what's that? Well, that would be Massively Multiplayer Online First Person Shooter. Reyna, how did you not know that? I, uh, I, well, I, uh, I... Oh. Anyway, MOSPS is an online gaming genre which features a persistent world and a large number of simultaneous players in an FPS fashion. I, I knew that too. I know. Criteria for our top 10 list includes all the goodies like combat systems, popularity, uniqueness, and gameplay ability. Let's get to it. Number 10 is Face of Mankind. Now, Face of Mankind is the oldest on our list, but that doesn't mean that it is not worthy. Featuring a player-driven game with a unique community, you will not be disappointed with how involved you are as a player. Graphics and combat could use a tad more work, but you can't deny how well they integrate your involvement in the game. Number nine, The War Z. Hmm, the most controversial game to make it onto our top 10. It's number nine because contrary to popular belief, there are thousands upon thousands of gamers that still hold high hopes for the potential of the War Z. Well, I guess we'll see. It is only February. At number eight, we have The Repopulation. Yes, we are aware the game is officially labeled as an MMORPG, but The Repopulation features an innovative dual combat system which allows players to switch between typical hotkey combat and a more action-based option close to that of a first-person shooter. If you love heavy crafting MMO games and you like the fact that it started on Kickstarter, The Repopulation is the game for you. Number seven, Cerverium. One of the lesser known games in our list, Cerverium is another post-apocalyptic MMO FPS game, but with some tweaks. It blends together the game modes and features from regular lobby-based FPS games with single player and co-op functions to provide a truly unique experience for shooter fans. At number six, we have DayZ. Now, you couldn't make a list discussing the best FPS games to play in 2013 without mentioning DayZ. Following the massive success from the Arma 2 mod, the developer, Dean Hall, joined the ranks at Bohemia Interactive and is now working with the experienced developers on a DayZ standalone. Promising to offer vast improvements on practically every area of the game, the DayZ standalone is one of the most anticipated releases for 2013. And at number five, Ghost Recon Online. This is the online adaptation of one of the most successful FPS franchises in history, Tom Clancy. Developed by Ubisoft, Ghost Recon Online is all set to capture the tactics and strategy that have made the older games so popular and merge them with the regular MMO FPS features to provide players with an experience worthy of the Tom Clancy name. Futuristic technology, in-depth character progression, and round-based matches await you. Number four, we have Dust514. Developed and published by CCP, the team behind the massively popular EVE Online, Dust514 represents a new era of MMO FPS games. For the first time in a AAA history, Dust514 will work in conjunction with the massive universe available in EVE Online, with players from both titles being able to influence the universal changes and control outcomes in the other game. No other game has boasted a feat this big before, so we're not really sure how successful it will be, but the response from the testers so far has been very positive, so we are sure to watch out for this one. And at number three, we have Earthrise, an upcoming post-apocalyptic MMO title that promises to deliver players a unique shooting experience supported by a diverse list of exclusive FPS features. The game features a player-driven economy, removing the genuinely dull in-game store seen in the majority of online shooter games. Earthrise is expected to launch in the later half of this year. At number two, we have World of Tanks. Now this is not your typical shooting title. World of Tanks is a record-breaking FPS title that offers players unprecedented World War II action using authentic models from many nations included in the most famous war in history. Attracting over 40 million players since the game's launch, World of Tanks is considered to be one of the most popular online games today. It even outranks League of Legends on a player spending average by almost six times. Take part in epic battles with millions of players across the globe in the highly tactical World War II combat simulator. And of course, at number one, we have Planet Side 2. Currently the most popular free-to-play MMO FPS game available on the internet, and we think it's still going to be just as strong come this time next year. 
The sequel to the hugely popular Planetside from Sony Online Entertainment, Planetside 2 expands on its predecessor in almost every way possible. Participate in some of the largest scale battles ever conceived in the world of online shooting games. Whether you enjoy infantry combat, aerial battles, or vehicular destruction, Planetside 2 offers everything any experienced FPS player would want. We even have some insider tips and player strategies from when I visited the Planetside 2 tournament event, so check them out in the videos below. Well, what did you think? Do you agree? Perhaps we left out a game that you think belongs. Let us know by commenting down below and interacting with us through Facebook and Twitter. If you're watching through YouTube, hit that like and subscribe. And of course, until next time, game on! I thought you were going to say Avita Zane. Yeah, I eh. thought about not doing it. Okay. <laughs> Welcome all to MMO Opinion episode number 23, the show with your thoughts, your opinions, and our version of the Harlem Shake. I'm Marina and this is Kirk. Kirk, what is our first topic of discussion? Do you read quest text? Do you really though? I know you have the best intentions. You want to learn every little piece of lore about your for the first time a triple A shooter. <clears throat> Okay, that was a lot of that. Uh, yeah, I don't know why we kept going. <laughs>